Hey everybody, Joe Burnich, BigWestMarketing.com. This short video, I wanted to, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and update all the photos on my Google My Business account. And I wanted to go ahead and do this in a video so that you can kind of see the changes that Google's made in the past couple months when it comes to adding photos to the account, what they're looking for. I know I've gone over this stuff a little bit in the past, but we're going to do it uh, real time on my very own account. So let's get started. All right, so first thing we want to do is go to business.google.com, make sure I'm logged in, which I am, okay. And I want to click over here where it says manage photos. It's been a, several years since I updated these photos, and so it's long overdue. So here we go. Let's look and see. So, so I've got the logo in there. I'm going to leave the logo, the profile picture. That's an old one I had. Let me grab a new one. This is the one I've been using on all my new stuff with Facebook and everything else. So I'm going to start using this photo. There we go. Yeah, I got I had this video this photo taken. This guy charges $250 uh to do headshots for, you know, aspiring actors in California, people like that. But I happened to be in the right place at the right time and he did this for 75 bucks. Turned out pretty good. So set that profile picture got my name in the title there and actually I just saw we can add a caption let me uh, I want to make sure the title of my of my file see see how my the title of my uh, or the name of the file that has my picture in there is you know it's my name is in there yes I know there's a 006 as well but that's that's okay I just want my name because my name is associated with this account all right so I'm gonna put Joe Burnich owner the more stuff, as, as pictures become more important for Google, my business, and proving that you're a legitimate business, and getting the rankings that you deserve, all that good stuff, photos have become extremely important if you watch my last video. And so all the little stuff you can do in addition to that, like naming the title before you even drop it in, um, putting a little caption here, a descriptive caption, stuff like that is going to help. It's going to help you keep you out of a Google penalty or it's going to bring you out of a Google penalty uh, and it's going to, you know, just in general help rankings. It's a small, small amount, but it, it's there. Now, in the past few years ago, I thought it'd be a good idea when Google didn't really care about what photos were in there. They just let you put whatever you want. In the past, I had all these screenshots of basically testimonials, which I thought was a good idea at the time, but that's not what Google's looking for anymore. Google is looking for um, pictures of work being done as related to your industry, okay? So I wanna get all these out of here. I wanna start fresh. So let's see, let's get rid of, I'm not even sure why that's in there. I don't know if somebody else added that. So customer added that one, okay? I, I, they're probably trying to get I don't I have no idea why they did it. Maybe they didn't mean to. I'm not sure. Interior. I'm gonna put some interior pics there. Exterior pics at work for sure. Team, absolutely. Identity. We already got those covered. The by owners. Um, now, what I want to figure out how to do is to delete these. Okay, there we go. So when you click on all the pictures in there that you don't want. It doesn't look like it does that for the customer photos, but for the other ones, for the ones that I've added in the past, I click on it. There's a little trash can in the upper right-hand corner. Click that. Delete. I'm going to delete all of these because this is not what Google wants any longer. And it won't let me delete the customer added one. That's okay. Now, what I want to do, I've got some, I took a couple pictures of me on the ins, I took several pictures of me on the inside working and a few of my employees working. And I took a picture of me on the outside of the building as well, as well as the entrance to the, the suite that we have. We're in an office with several different, different businesses. So 
let's see how I'm going to do this. So if you look at the files I'm thinking about putting in here. So there's Leah. She does web design. So I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to name that web designer. I like the other one better. There's Wendy. She's the search engine specialist. I'm going to put marketing specialist because our business is more in the, in gen I'm just going to make it a little more general here. Marketing work. Okay. There's my dog, Taylor, that comes to the office with us. So I'm going to put our mascot. I have a bunch of pictures of Taylor there. Uh, that's okay. So I'm gonna put outside. I'm gonna put exterior just to match with how how Google terms it. Joe Burnage exterior. Entrance to Big West Marketing. There's no set way to name all these. Okay. I just want, I don't want to leave them at this image with a number there. I want it to be somewhat related to my business so that Google can make that connection. Uh, let's do Marianne. I'm going to put customer service right there. Molly, I'm going to put billing manager. And yeah, see if any, any of these other ones I want. Yeah, let's do um, on the phone. So you see where I'm going with here? Yeah, I, I like that one too. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is. Joe Burnich. Working. They like working pictures. Joe Burnich at work. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna match it up how how uh, Google puts it. Little things like that. I'm gonna test. Okay. Now you're always testing. You're always testing. Nothing's ever just set in stone exactly the way you do it. Okay. So let's go, uh, let's do some interior ones here. I'm gonna put, so at work and interior, they can both, have, there's gonna be some overlap there, but let's, let's go, um, so interior, no, I'm sorry. Put that one. I know Marianne doesn't love that picture. Did that post it? Let me see. No. Oh, I see. I gotta click on post photos before I can drag and drop them in there. All right. Let's put Marianne and Molly in interior. There we go. Exterior, let's do. I forgot to click on it again. Post photos. And I may change these. This is not all set in stone. There we go. And I'll probably go take some more, you know, as time goes by. Trickle them in. At work, this is where I want to put, uh, you know, the one that I called Joe Burnich at work. And I think another one that would make sense would be web designer, marketing work. Team. 
Hakeem. For now, I'm going to put Taylor in there, but I'm going to get some pictures taken of all of us together. And I think I, I think I got them all. Now, I don't know if having my dog in there is a good thing or a bad thing, but, you know, I named it a certain way, and it is actually, you know, very um, descriptive of, or illustrative of my office. So I'm, I'm going to run with this. I'm going to give it a try. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get some more, um, you know, at work, exterior, interior, team, all those. I'm going to get more of those. Uh, these are all uploaded by the owner, by me. These are pictures I took in the office, so they're geotagged, meaning Google can see that they were taken at the location right here that I've listed, my address right here. Google can actually pinpoint that to the like the latitude and longitude, and that will help me. That gives me more legitimacy. So this is what I'm, these are the, the photos I'm going to put in there for now. You notice I have people in all of these. Yes, Taylor, I'm going to consider her a person. Uh, but they're people that are doing work, and that really is a key. Pictures at your job site, pictures of real people doing work is the key to uh, photos inside your Google My Business account. Now, of course, Google My Business has lots of other um, things that you need to have taken care of.